Hey everyone, in this example, I'm going to show a quick and efficient way to move the top workbook filters as canvas specific dashboard filters. Now, why would an author want to move the workbook filters as dashboard filters? There are a few reasons. Dashboard filters provides different styles of layout and orientation for the filter columns. In addition to that, we have added a bunch of new filter styles. As you can see on my screen, the radio button checkboxes, parameter binding capabilities to the filter columns in dashboard filter bar. And another good reason to migrate your workbook filters to dashboard filters is uh, the end user personalization feature for persisting filter values is available only on dashboard filters and visualization filters. A new functionality has been added to the top filter bar menu that allows the author to move the top filter bar to canvas specific dashboard filters. All pinned filters will be excluded from this migration. Pinned filters are filters that are available on all canvases in the workbook. As you can see, order date is a pin filter that's available on different canvases. In this example, when I migrate the top filter bar, order date will be excluded, but the rest of the unpinned filters and any filters that are bound to parameter will also be migrated to canvas specific dashboard filters. Let's migrate the top filter bar as dashboard filters on this canvas. I'm gonna put it as a horizontal layout and you can see that all of the unpinned filters and the filters that were bound to parameter is now migrated to dashboard filters. Now here's another example of the same top of filter bars migrated to dashboard filters, but in a vertical layout. And all of the filters from the top filter bar is now migrated as dashboard filters with all values selected and all of the parameter binding and any other settings that you may have, for example, like the limit five will be migrated over to the dashboard filter bar. Thank you for watching this video.